We're in today with the legendary HD4870 X2. This is a 2008 video card with 1 gig of VRAM GDDR5. It's got 800 shaders running at 750 megahertz on the core clock and 900 megahertz on the memory clock. It's got 256 bits bus width, DirectX 10, and we're gonna pair it up with this i7 4th gen with 4 cores and 8 threads. I think this is a fantastic video card. The best thing we can do, jump in a couple of games and see how it holds let's go let's start with uh, black ops this is a fantastic game 1080p maximum details all the bells and whistles you know but the only thing i like about this the only thing i, I want to put it out straight here and send on the internet i love this video card because one single reason it's got an accelerator cooler on it this is an aftermarket cooler and uh, the gpu stays really fantastic you know on the temperature side in order to keep the video card cool i max out the fan and uh, Nothing can hit it. This video card and the GTX 690 have uh, accelerator cooler and I love them. Seriously, those video cards are fantastic. In a, in a case like this, I will never complain because uh, they are doing great. Got only one gig of VRAM, do remember? So in this case, I got uh, 700 megabytes of uh, VRAM utilization, 60-70% load on the core of the video card. It's good performance, you know? In some cases, it's reaching 80-90% load on the core, 50 degrees, 750 megahertz on the core clock it's good because it shows me that both of the cores are being utilized 340 watts consumption as an average this is a good looking game fantastic game if you're interested on in playing uh, uh, with an old video card like this it's possible to play black ops in this case all jokes aside if i want to use an old video card like this i will definitely play age of empires with a video card like this not even a discussion seriously nice performance maximum details when it comes to utilizing a dual bga video card you need to understand the majority of the game that you will put it needs to work with uh, dual cores if it doesn't work with dual cores then you have a problem because majority of the time you will end up um, how I say uh, uh, loading the video card with only one core and it's not funny you know this is a game that is working with dual bga it's give me 200 fps in uh, the situation nice performance with this uh, video card and if i'm interested on uh, actually playing uh, games like this it will be a fantastic experience look at this maximum core load 50 60 degrees on the video card only 200 megabytes of vram utilization definitely a definitely good uh, performance in stalker with maximum details on 1080p the game is gonna utilize the video card properly in this case it's utilizing 500 megabytes of vram 98 percent load on the core of the video card that's actually a decent amount of uh, load from the video card based on the wattage that i'm using nearly 400 watts consumption with a 4070 x2 do remember this video card it's utilizing two six pin connectors in order to power up uh, this uh, video card i mean the system is doing a fantastic job in this case the cpu doesn't have any problems with 30 watts consumption from this maximum in some cases that's fantastic so that means the cpu and the system is doing the job with only four gig of system ram that's a joke seriously but it doesn't matter today's star is the 4870 that is uh, on maximum details operating this game properly seriously it's uh, rendering perfect there is no problem no scaling problems the sky looks nice you know with maximum lights dynamic details view distance everything is maxed out and it's not stressing the video card but just for the memes doesn't it run crisis i mean for the memes i know it's running crisis but i just wanted to see how it's running with very high very high daniel with maximum details you can see that the core of the video card is on maximum load nearly 60 degrees with an accelerator cooler <laughs> imagine if you had the stock cooler this video card will have been burned already seriously with nearly 400 watts consumption so i like the performance it offers me the possibility to lower a little the details in order to get the best performance in this case the video card is doing the job you see the core uh, frequency it's uh, maximum temperature it's reaching 60 degrees with uh, some in some cases it's uh, you will gonna see it <laughs> but uh, at this stage the cooler it's uh, holding strong and uh, it doesn't uh, let it uh, get hot i like this accelerator cooler or maximum you know they are the best and whenever you see one with a video card already connected just uh, yeah 
take it it's worth only the fan in this case with maximum details the video card is offering me 40 50 fps but the frame time is everywhere like i said this is maximum details in crisis and you cannot complain you know you have the possibility to go on uh, high details not very high or medium details and you'll have uh, a nice performance it's gonna work i tried it with low details and it was good you know the fps was flawless but in this stage i just wanted to show you this fallout is the best game that you can put on a video card like this it doesn't stress the core it, the fps is kind of nice i mean it's 60 fps uh, i don't know if you can force uh, the v-sync out of this but uh, it's not uh, ideal because this is a very nice video card and 60 fps it's uh, more than enough for a video card like this it, there is no need for more fps than uh, this uh, amount you know in this case we uh, this video card only 800 megabytes of vram is utilized i mean considering it's a one gig of vram video card 800 megabytes of vram it's not bad you know because it's near the limit it's utilizing nearly 300 watts consumption from the wolf on this uh, occasion the game looks fantastic with 1080p and maximum details and it requires 40 50 percent load on the video card core in order to deliver this amount of uh, fps and I like it, seriously, I like this amount of uh, FPS. Another open world game that is working really nice with this uh, crossfire, but it's not stressing uh, the video card. Still on 60 FPS, like uh, Fallout New Vegas, you can see that the game looks uh, fantastic, you know, if you're wandering around space and want to kill uh, space raiders and mine resource, uh, looting, uh, upgrading your ship, everything can be done in the game, but at the same time, look at this, 300 megabytes of VRAM. It's it's not stressing the video card it's actually good because of that uh, limitation you can see that it's on the good side when it comes to the temperature 41 degrees the system 3.5 uh, gig of system ram being utilized less than 20 percent load on the cpu if you have an old machine if you have an old operating system a game like this needs to be added not even 300 watts consumption from this uh, computer it's using the video card uh, badly you know and uh, it's, it's not stressing it i came in far cry because i wanted to see how it's running with uh, low details you know i knew that i had no expectation from the video card to actually push a lot of fps but in this occasion with this video card i knew that i have to put low details in order to see this video card being utilized you know so 1080p low details in far cry you get to uh, play the game with 90 fps i mean this is low details you can actually see it's, it's not that uh, sh shabby you know it's doing the job uh, it's utilizing the video card properly Properly, I think it's gonna reach 60 degrees uh, on the video card because it's got uh, nearly 100 FPS, nearly 400 watts consumption from the wall. I will take this as a big win for the video card it's capable of delivering the fps you can actually see the crossfire is doing the job it's the it's it's there you know it's there with the game it doesn't crash it doesn't give you artifacts it's not utilizing the video card uh, vram at maximum only 300 megabytes on on this uh, occasion but uh, the core frequency it's there the core the memory frequency is there so everything it's uh, used uh, properly in this situation with uh, this video card i keep coming with video cards in this game with crossfire and sli because this is an awesome game and i want to see as many sli and crossfire as possible to see how awesome this game is utilizing the resource it's very important because sometimes it's not working sometimes it's working and uh, in this occasion is doing a fantastic job with 330 watts consumption using in this case only 60 percent load on the video the card less than 50 degrees on the core 350 megabytes of vram utilized the moment i come somewhere where it's opened space you get 98 uh, percent load on the video card and uh, nice uh, performance from that 400 uh, megabytes of vram utilization 100 fps on average is doing exactly what it was meant to do hellgate london is one of those games that is working really nice with a lot of sli and crossfires in this case you can see that the video card is doing a fantastic job here it doesn't have any problems scaling is perfect 800 megabytes of uh, vram utilization maximum load 200 fps 350 watts consumption i mean all in all uh, this is exactly what you expect uh, from this uh, video card to do you know to do its job and uh, get a lot of uh, fps and a lot of entertainment with this video card maximum load on the video card good temperature on the core 800 megabytes of vram utilized here and uh, it's holding pretty well overall it's fantastic
like 1080p maximum details like it i think you can squeeze even more details if you're interested but uh, it all depends on you this is a very interesting video card to test you can actually see this accelero cooler is doing a fantastic job pcb temperature 45 degrees gpu temperature 35 degrees fan speed 40 percent but majority of the time i put it on 100 percent and i don't feel nothing sometimes msi after burner is putting it to 100 percent sometimes it's just it, yeah 40 percent doesn't matter i've seen in some cases that the moment you put the fan on to 100 percent it doesn't go only when it's loaded you know when the game starts then the fan goes up and uh, that's it the game that i would have liked to play on this video card would have been gta 5 but uh, it requires me to put it in a windows 10 machine and the drivers are like bananas there this is the way it was meant to be tested with games like this with this operating system and that's it if you want the 2008 video card in a windows 10 or 11 machine with uh, yeah, new games and uh, glitches no compatibilities only one core working ah, you can do that but it's not worth it if you really want that performance in a windows 10 machine i think a 4890 will be a better choice than this one this is a better environment for this video card this windows 7 machine with this type of uh, configuration it's awesome seriously like i said if you're interested in building an old machine i recommend a video card like this but then you need to put an accelero cooler on this because without it it will be very bad seriously <laughs> All in all, I like it. If you have any suggestion for the video card or for the system, leave a comment and I will see you very soon.